guys, it's Di, and today we're putting together these castle kits and house kits from the Dollar Tree. Actually, these were each only $1. The girls saw these as we were going down the aisle, and they went nuts for these. So we thought we would share these. They had a couple different versions. There was a race car place, a dollhouse that wasn't princess themed, um, and the girls just absolutely loved them. So they've got these cardboard cutout figures, and it's supposed to make a couple story house. So we thought we'd share these today in case your little ones would be interested in these as well. So Natalie picked out the princess house. She wanted the princess one, and Bella picked out the knight's castle because it came with a dragon so she wants the dragon house. So it should be pretty easy to put together. I don't think there's any instructions or anything. I think this is pretty much self-explanatory. I'm going to help Natalie with hers. And these are the little figures that come with the princess one and it actually has stickers that they can put on there as well. I think this is a great activity for a dollar and look how interactive it is. So um, the girls can kind of decorate their castle however they want. So all you have to do is just slide the floors in like so into the slot. So I just slid them into the tabs and then what I'm doing is I'm just pressing it down to kind of give it a little bit more rigidity. So I'm just folding these over and hopefully that'll make it a little bit more rigid. And then I'm going to put the second layer in and it doesn't seem like there's any specific one you have to put, you know, they're both the same size. And the doors even flap open and everything. Look at that. So there is Natalie's in the back. So we're going to get her people. I was reading instructions. Mine has to keep the bag away from babies and children, but please keep it away from us. <laughs> you're above three years old. All right, let's see if you can put together yours, because you're a six-year-old. So let's see if a six-year-old can put this together. So here are your night stickers, and here is your dragon. She was really excited about this guy. So here is the inside of Bella's dragon castle. There's a little hidden dragon there. And she's working on putting her people together. I'm going to give Natalie her stickers to put on her princess castle. Awesome. Now can <laughs> Just I have decorating. these little carpets? All right, so we're trying to put the people together, and I'm putting tape on the bottom to see if they stand up a little bit easier. There is the knight. Yeah, they have a hard time standing up, but for a dollar, I think we can work around it. So Bella is off and going, building hers and putting the tabs in. Yeah, if it's in the right spot, it should just actually slide right in. Natalie's hard to work decorating over there. So here are the little figures that came with Bella's set. It's got a cute little dragon with a treasure chest, a knight, and she had a princess in hers as well. She's working on the second level, and Natalie's over here decorating. She's got gems and extra lights on there, and some crowns. Very nice. All of your stickers are almost gone. What have you put in there? A picture, an extra picture. She put a sticker right there. So you have two sheets of stickers. Ooh. You have a treasure chest left on that one. I'll help you get the bird off on this one. For the new guests. Oops. There he goes. These are the inhabitants of Natalie's castle. She's got a princess, a knight, and a fairy. Princess into the castle here. And I did add some tape to the bottom so that way they stayed, the bottom stayed on. But the bottom couldn't. I don't really. So the princess is upstairs in the castle. Where's the fairy gonna go? Princess is visiting the second floor. How's it going over here decorating? Great. <laughs> Great. You're adding a crown under the stool there. I think the stickers are like the best part, and I didn't even really notice that when we purchased it, but it's really cool that they can add the decorations where they want. Oh, cool, and you've got a knight sticker in there. That's awesome. And the knight the king. There's a lava spill, too. There's a lava spill? <laughs> All right. This is the lava spill. That one's the lava spill. Oh, it is a lava spill. All right. So I think these are definitely worth it for a dollar. And obviously keeping them well entertained. Definitely a great, like if it's a rainy day or summertime activity. And they had a bunch of different themes. Like I may go back and get them just like a regular dollhouse theme. And then they also had like a race car theme as well. And that would go great if you did like a race car birthday party. You could do these as party favors. I mean, they're only a dollar. How awesome is that? It spills on the outside of yours too, Isabella. Oh, on the side. Oh, a lava spill. 
and a princess and dragons out the window. Oh, there's <laughs> fire, fire. Some treasure. Pretty cool. Where's the lava spell? Right over here. It's right there. You just went past it. No, See? I, I need the other one. Oh, the other one? Did you put it inside? The oh, sticker? I didn't. I didn't use it yet. So I just put like a clear piece of tape on the bottom to get these so that they'll stand up because they definitely don't hold the cardboard on their own. But that's our improvisation there. All right, the dragon's going in the castle. What's it look like on the inside? You're putting the dragon up there. Ooh, All right. <laughs> so these are pretty cool for a dollar. I like these. I think I would definitely recommend checking them out, especially if you had a party or something where you're wanting to get a fun little favor. <laughs> and it's definitely some entertainment and enjoyment if you're going to be inside for a little while, if you're doing a theme for learning. So hopefully you guys enjoyed checking out these dollar doll houses from the Dollar Tree. Go see if your Dollar Tree has them. And thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.